I mean, is, right. does that work this time, Chris Plant, that we, we should have been clear, we didn't explain it adequately? No, I mean, as you pointed out, he explained it perfectly clearly dozens of times, and uh, what he explained was not true, and they knew that it wasn't true at the time. Starting with, you know, people forget about this one, we're going to have all of the discussions and hearings on health care on C-SPAN. They're all going to be on C-SPAN. It was all done behind closed doors. You can't keep your doctor. I, look, I'm taking calls all day long from people, and I have friends who have lost their doctors, lost, lost their health care plans. I'm one of the lucky ones that has been grandfathered in. My rates went from 321 a month to 537 a month. It's all been untrue. And look, on this, uh, on this apology, the reason for the apology is that 16 Senate Democrats came to the White House yesterday and raised holy hell because they're afraid they're going to lose their jobs next year in the midterm elections, and the Democrats will lose control of the Senate. In Virginia, they had an election on Tuesday. Uh, the Democrat, Terry McAuliffe, was supposed to mop the floor with the Republican Ken Cuccinelli, and they squeaked it out with three points, and Cuccinelli won independence by nine points. Mm -hmm. That's why the apology. Mm -hmm. and, though, and, and for those uh, who opposed Obamacare, they voted 80 uh, percent. Right for the Republican. Let me ask you right. about this, Alan. He comes out tonight and says he takes these cancellations very seriously. We have watched him for two weeks go out there and say, you're getting a better plan. They are. Just go on to the exchange. They are. But, they are. Okay, maybe let's, let's assume are. that's true for the purposes of this, this discussion, that they're getting a p better plan. Especially in the blue states where How the governor's... How can he come out now after saying... It's, be it's better, it's better, it's better, and say, wow. I take this very seriously, and yeah. you should trust me to fix it. You know, the only words that conservatives would have liked for him to say tonight would have been, I resign. In terms of Virginia, by the yeah. way, all of a sudden, I'm so happy to hear that conservatives, who never cared about the 47 million people who didn't have health care until Obamacare, and now there are 20 million people in this new plan, about 3% of the population. Is it, uh, is the it population. not relevant that he broke that promise? Is that well, not, I, uh, Alan, I, as, a, as a liberal uh, Democrat, uh, you're telling I, me it's not relevant that he, that he may have uh, committed a fraud to I get just, this law? Passed. If I could just finish that sentence and I'll respond. Well, if you can, sure. if you can answer my question, that would sure. be great. Okay. Uh, I think he could have done a better job, first of all, explaining it when he should have said it's up to the insurance companies to not throw people off the plans. When he first said you can keep your plans. And why did plan, they do that, Alan? Why did they, they throw the people off the plans? Because that's what they always do. It. There's always because churning. the plans did not comply with Obamacare. There's always churning in the insurance company. He had to say what he should why have said. Why didn't he foresee that? I'm, why I'm didn't he foresee you, that and plan against you, it with the regulations? Won't take, you won't take yes for an answer. What I'm trying to say is, is that he should have said that it depends upon whether the insurance companies hoil to what Obamacare says. He needed to say that all along the way and not say guaranteed you can keep your plan if you're on it. He should have done it what all along. What do you along. think of it, Absolutely. Chris? I take it very seriously that these people yeah. are being canceled. Well, he takes it very seriously now that they see political jeopardy for themselves in the midterm elections. That's why they take it seriously. We all have better insurance as a result, really. I mean, you know, I'm paying for prenatal care. I have no children. I don't plan on having any. Uh, I, I pay for <laughs> pediatric dentistry. I don't think that's going to be an issue with me. It's about redistribution. It's about wait, wait, puffing up the you, plan you that I'm going to pay for. You pay for roads and schools you don't use. You pay for bridges you don't use. You that's pay for the school. rational, really? That's, that's your what we that's do. That's not the point. Yes. Well, that's, that's not, what we do. That's the point, that is the point. Is, that is the point. Uh, no, all, it isn't, because that's not how it's sold. If he had sold it that way, we could have had an honest debate about uh, it. But it was sold. If you like right. your plan, you can keep it, We period. all pay for stuff. And by the way, up until now, we were all paying we all into pay a system for, for people who did not have health care. We paid higher premiums up until now okay. to support those who didn't have. that socialism. This is the opposite of that. Wouldn't it have been great if we could have had that discussion before Obamacare yeah. as opposed to the An false one we had? An honest discussion. Based on assurances that were not true. Thank you, gentlemen.